Procedure for octal subtraction using eighths complement. Step 1. Find the eighths complement of the subtrahend. Step 2. Add the first number that is the minuend with the eighths complement of the subtrahend that you found in step 1. Step 3. If end carry is obtained, discard the carry. If there is no end carry, then find the eighths complement of the sum and put a negative sign in front. Problem 1. Using eighths complement, subtract the given to octal number. So m is 5, 2, 3 and n is 3, 6, 7. So m minus n can be written as m minus n is equal to m plus minus of n. So uh, minus, this is a negative number. So uh, we use complements to, uh, to represent negative numbers. So as per step 1, we have to find the eighths complement of the subtrahend. So this is the subtrahend and we are going to find the eighths complement of this number. So the eighths complement of 367 is uh, so first you have to find the 7th comp complement and then add 1. So it is 777 minus 367. So th this gives the 7th complement. Then you have to add this answer with 1. So you get the 8th complement. So it is 410 is the 7th complement of 367. Then you are adding 1. So you get 411. This is the 8th complement. Next. You, step 2 is you have to add the minuend that is 5, 2, 3 and the eighths complement of the subtrahend that is the 4, 1, 1 you have to add. So when you add you get 3 plus 1 is 4 and 2 plus 1 is 3. And 5, 5, plus 9, uh, 5 plus 4 gives us 9. But 9 is not an octal number. So we divide with 8. So we get the quotient 1 and reminder 1. So we are writing the reminder 1 as the uh, sum and 1 as the carry. And the carry also we are writing here. So this is the end carry. So as per the procedure, if end carry is obtained, you have to discard the carry. So you are discard. This is the end carry. So you are discarding the carry. So the answer is one, three, four. This is the answer. Problem two: Using eighths complement, subtract the given two octal numbers. So m is 3, 6, 7 and n is 5, 2, 3. m minus n can be written as m plus minus of n. So we represent this negative number using complement. So as per step 1, we are finding the eighths complement of the subtrahend. So the eighths complement of the subtrahend 5, 2, 3 is 7's complement plus 1 gives the eighths complement. So the 7's complement is 254, then plus 1 gives the 8's complement, that is 255. So next we have to, step 2 is to add the minuend, that is the first number 367, with the 8's complement of the subtrahend, that is 255. So when you add, 7 plus 5 gives us 12, 12 is not an octal number. So to make it octal, divide with 8. So you get the uh, quotient 1 and the reminder is 4. So you write the 4 here and carry is 1. So this is the carry and this is the sum. Next, 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 5 is again 12. So again when you do, you get 4 and the carry is 1. Next, 3 plus 1 is 4, 5, 6. 
so 644 so this is the answer so here as per step 3 here we don't have any end carry so since there is no end carry so this B part that is in step 3 the B part is if there is no end carry then find the 8th complement of the sum and put a negative sign in front. So you have to find the 8th complement of the sum that is 644 you have to find the 8th complement and put a negative sign in front. So here the 8th complement of 644 we have to find and, and we have put a negative sign in front. So this gives the 8th complement that is 7th seven, complement of 644 plus 1 gives the 8th complement and we have a negative sign in front. So this gives the answer minus 134. So this is the answer.